So, winter time. Winter time is so beautiful. Everything is, well, darker, more bleak, but what's the word for, for it? I think it's, it's a very, it's very honest and it's very quiet. It's like, it's like a time made for reflection, but it can also be very tough, very hard time to be alive. I do miss uh, the sun and I miss the heat, the warmth of uh, summertime and being outside in a like shorts and t-shirt, eating ice cream, and melting. Uh, I do miss that right now, so my son is sleeping outside, so I think I have a few minutes just to talk to you guys. Um, we just celebrated Christmas and it was very nice, very nice, and we uh, yeah, we had a good time and now it's time to like settle back into reality and now we can't eat all the candy and whatever we want to do um so i felt once we we got home again i felt that like i need to adjust again i need to get settled into the routine and it's crazy because it's only been a few days, like a week. Well, yeah, like only a week. And it already, like, it already feels strange to. Yeah, I need, yeah, like something's, something feels off. And it's obvious to me that. One thing is that you, like you, you're breaking your, you're breaking up your routines. Uh, you're doing whatever you want for a few days, and when you return, you have to find that spark again. Um, and not only that, but you are battling the elements, right? I think winter time is so beautiful and there's so much to be grateful for. It's sort of like a reset. If you live in a country where you have sun and warm climate all the time, uh, it just becomes this natural thing, right? And yes, I'm a little jealous because it sounds very nice when I'm when I'm in this season that, that we're, in, we're in right now, the winter time. <clears throat> but that's also the beauty of it, that I miss summertime. And when I get to feel those warm rays on my face and body again, I'm going to be very thankful, very grateful that it's summertime or spring or whatever. Many, many people have um, get this uh, winter depression and everything is dark, not just outside, but also in the mines. And uh, what I've always done in my mind is think that, okay, in the winter time, I work extra hard. I, I work on my craft. I work on myself. I do the work. I do all the heavy lifting. So that when uh, spring comes and the sun starts to return, I can I can celebrate my hard work and I can just enjoy even more and things become easier. So for me, it's always been sort of a boost <laughs> to my motivation that we enter the darkness now and 
Now it's time to grind. <laughs> um, but coming home from Christmas just now was hard. It was tough. And it's got a lot to do with a lot of things. I know that. And it's, and it's also because I have to take care of a two-year-old. It can be very taxing. He's, uh, that's just the way kids are. They take all your attention and all your energy and all your love. And, and I want to give it all to him, right? It's just that it gets tiresome. It really does. Uh, but I was just thinking like a lot of the things that are like energy consuming is that I need to change his diaper and need to change his uh, clothes and keep him fed. And he is becoming more and more, uh, you know, like self going like uh, he can take more and more care of himself but once he reaches in just in like maybe in just six months he'll be way better and he won't have to like use uh, diapers anymore and he won't be taking uh, naps which also something that break up breaks up the day so there's a lot of good things coming and it's just so happens to you know line up with summertime so we all have periods in life where we just have to do the work and i think the worst thing you can do is not do the work even when it's very difficult to do and when you have the elements working against you and or you have someone trying to make everything more difficult for you that could be your boss or someone in your family or, uh, your car breaking up breaking not breaking up your car, your car broke up with you that's so weird uh you know your car breaking or something in your house needs fixing or you know things breaking up your routines I think it's it's especially important to do the work just then. Just get it done and try to put a smile on your face and just know that it too shall pass. Uh, so that's my focus right now. Just, just doing the work, taking care of my son and making sure we have a good time. Because he, he doesn't know that it's bad or good. He just knows exactly that the things are how I show him. So I'm always going to be honest with him. And if I'm tired, I'm tired. I'm going to tell him. And if I'm happy, I'm happy. But I'll always try to show him like that it's going to be okay and we can do the work and we can, we can have a good time no matter the circumstances, because we are here right now. Um, yeah, I wasn't to, supposed to make another 2020, 2023 video, but I'm going to, because I can. Uh, and I'm not going to talk about what's going to happen in 2024, because I already recorded a video about that, and I'm going to... Uh, it's going to be uploaded one of these days, like like uh, maybe 29th or the 30th. Yeah, but I hope you had a great Christmas or whatever you, you've done in the holidays. I hope it's been uh, very good to you. And I can't wait for 2024, man. It's going to be great. It's going to be great because I decided and you can decide that too. So if you haven't put down your goals for 2024 yet, I suggest you start to think about 
something you want to achieve. Uh, because having some goals, I think, is very important. It doesn't have to be major goals. It just has to be something that you think you can achieve. So you start stacking wins, you know? When you stack wins, you have the courage to do even greater things. Um, and when you stack up enough wins, doing the hard work, the, the hard work in difficult times will become easier. And at some point, it just becomes natural. Where you don't need motivation all the time. Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. I'll see you in the last video of 2023, coming up in a few days. Right. Love you guys. Have a good one. I'll see you.